So now let's take a look at the actual browsing performance. Um, so on the right I have the uh, Samsung Galaxy S 4G which has been updated to 2.3.4 and on the left I have the uh, Galaxy S2 which is running 2.3.3, the latest stock firmware uh, that I can see. And so what we're going to do is uh, just load the Anantec homepage and they're connected to the same uh, 802.11n network and I've, I've done uh, of course the usual thing and cleared the cache and cookies and all that good stuff. So I'm going to tap go here and let's see how fast um, uh, Exneos is compared to Hummingbird. So they're loading, and it looks looks like Galaxy S2 wins by a fair margin there. Um, but it's really not super huge. And of course, uh, as a reminder, Galaxy S2 has a 1.2 gigahertz Exynos uh, 4210 SoC, which is two Cortex A9s at 1.2 gigahertz, um, and one gigabyte of LPDDR2. Of course, Galaxy S, on the other hand, is the uh, previous generation Samsung SoC, which is one gigahertz Cortex A8. Um, with SGX 540 graphics and uh, 512 megabytes of LPDDR2. Of course, Exynos has Mali, Mali 400, which is ARM's GPU. So now let's let's go around, and you can see. Um, so I mean, they're both pretty smooth. And again, I think a lot of that is basically just because you know Samsung has always had that that backing store. It's a little bit smoother on Galaxy S2. I think that's fair to say it's smoother. Um, but it's you know it's not it's not unusable on the old phone. So let's load another page. See how that does. So there it looks like Galaxy S 4G loaded a little bit faster, but then Galaxy S2 finished first. And of course we have flash on on both of these and updated. You know, this is the latest 10.3. So I mean that's pretty close, but you can see that the uh, Galaxy S2 is faster. And we are loading over Wi-Fi again, so this is sort of ideal network performance where we're not really network bound. Let's load this page. That's pretty close. That's really close. Galaxy S2 finishes first, but just by a little bit. That looked like Galax uh, original Galaxy S still did some loading. What's a good thing to load? Let's try the uh, Antec Solo 2. It's really close there, um, and it looks like Galaxy S2 is actually missing or didn't get the flash banner there. But obviously, you can see the Galaxy S2 is is slightly faster, you know, at least in the uh, the, the browser non-synthetic tests. Um, of course, on the 3D side, you know, it sort of you know blows away the competition, um, and you can see really just how smooth that is by going in and running, you know, GL benchmarks. So I'll show a little bit of that, um, just because I think that's. I think it's interesting to show just how fluid this test has gone. You know, even if you run the high test, it, it basically is at at the rail the whole time, uh, and that's just incredible because you know this time last year we had phones that couldn't even render the normal test at, at you know 30 fps. Uh, so yeah, we've come a long way. This is sort of hyper Moore's, Moore's law, as Anon likes to put it. Um, so I'll let this run, and then I think we're basically done. Thanks again.
So you can see basically we're at the cap the whole time and we have 56.7 FPS, which is basically VSync. So thanks again.